Acts 3, 2, minus 11 authorized, King James Version, AKJV 2 And a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. 3 Who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple asked an alms. 4 And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. 5 And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. 6 Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth rise up and walk. 7 And he took him by the right hand, and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. 8 And he leaping up stood, and walked, and entered with them into the temple, walking, and leaping, and praising God. 9 And all the people saw him walking and praising God. 10 And they knew that it was he which sat for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. 11 And as the lame man which was healed held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Solomon's, greatly wondering. Acts 9 34 Authorized King James Version AKJV 34 And Peter said unto him, Me, Jesus Christ maketh thee whole, arise, and make thy bed. And he arose immediately. Acts 9 36 minus 42 Authorized King James Version AKJV 36 Now there was at Joppa a certain disciple named Tabitha, which by interpretation is called Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and alms deeds which she did. 37 And it came to pass in those days, that she was sick, and died, whom when they had washed, they laid her in an upper chamber. 38 And forasmuch as Lydda was nigh to Joppa, and the disciples had heard that Peter was there, they sent unto him two men, desiring him that he would not delay to come to them. 39 Then Peter arose and went with them. When he was come, they brought him into the upper chamber, and all the widows stood by him weeping, and shewing the coats and garments which Dorcas made, while she was with them. 40 But Peter put them all forth, and kneeled down, and prayed, and turning him to the body said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes, and when she saw Peter, she sat up. 41 And he gave her his hand, and lifted her up, and when he had called the saints and widows, presented her alive. 42 And it was known throughout all Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. Acts 6 8 King James Version, KJV 8 And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Acts 8 6 King James Version, KJV 6 And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. Acts 8 7 King James Version, KJV 7 For unclean spirits, crying with loud voice, came out of many that were possessed with them, and many taken with palsies, and that were lame, were healed. Acts 8 13 King James Version, KJV 13 Then Simon himself believed also, and when he was baptized, he continued with Philip, and wandered, beholding the miracles and signs which were done. Philip miraculously transported to Azoda after preaching to Ethiopia Acts 8 39 authorized King James Version AKJV 39 and when they were come up out of the water the spirit of the Lord caught away Philip that the eunuch saw him no more and he went on his way rejoicing then Peter said silver and gold have I none but such as I have give I thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth rise up and walk and he did. Acts 4.30 King James Version, KJV 30 By stretching forth thine hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. Acts 5.12 King James Version, KJV 12 And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people, and they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. Acts 5.15 King James Version, KJV 15 And so much that they brought forth the sick into the streets, 
and laid them on beds and couches, that at the least the shadow of Peter passing by might overshadow some of them. Courts 5, 16, King James Version, KJV 16 There came also a multitude out of the cities round about unto Jerusalem, bringing sick folks, and them which were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed every one. Acts 5, 17, minus 20 King James Version, KJV 17 Then the high priest rose up, and all they that were with him, which is the sect of the Sadducees, and were filled with indignation, 18 and laid their hands on the apostles, and put them in the common prison. 19 But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors, and brought them forth, and said, 20 Go, stand and speak in the temple to the people all the words of this life. Acts 12 1 minus 11 King James Version, KJV 12 Now about that time Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. 2 And he killed James the brother of John with the sword. 3 And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. 4 And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Five Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Six and when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. Seven and, behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and the light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. Eight and the angel said unto him, Gird thyself, and bind on thy sandals. And so he did. And he saith unto him, Cast thy garment about thee, and follow me. Nine and he went out, and followed him, and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. Ten when they were past the first and the second ward, they came unto the iron gate that leadeth unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord. And they went out, and passed on through one street, and forthwith the angel departed from him. Eleven and when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety, that the Lord hath sent his angel, and hath delivered me out of the hand of Herod, and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. Acts 16 40 King James Version, KJV 22 And the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrates rent off their clothes, and commanded to beat them. 23 And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely. 24 Who, having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison, and made their feet fast in the stocks. 25 And at midnight Paul and Silas prayed, and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. 26 And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and every one's bands were loosed. 27 And the keeper of the prison awaking out of his sleep, and seeing the prison doors open, he drew out his sword, and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had been fled. 28 But Paul cried with a loud voice, saying, do thyself no harm, for we are all here. 29 Then he called for a light, and sprang in, and came trembling, and fell down before Paul and Silas, 30 and brought them out, and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? 31 And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. 32 And they spake unto him the word of the Lord and to all that were in his house. 33 And he took them the same hour of the night, and washed their stripes, and was baptized, he and all his, straightway. 34 And when he had brought them into his house, he set meat before them, and rejoiced, believing in God with all his house. 35 And when it was day, the magistrate sent the surgeons, saying, Let those men go. 
36 And the keeper of the prison told the saying to Paul, The magistrates have sent to let you go. Now therefore depart, and go in peace. 37 But Paul said unto them, They have beaten us openly uncondemned, being Romans, and have cast us into prison, and now do they thrust us out privily? Nay verily, but let them come themselves and fetch us out. 38 And the surgeons told these words unto the magistrates, and they feared, when they heard that they were Romans. 39 And they came and besought them, and brought them out, and desired them to depart out of the city. 40 And they went out of the prison, and entered into the house of Lydia, and when they had seen the brethren, they comforted them, and departed. Acts 9 3 minus 6 King James Version, KJV 3 And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven. For and he fell to the earth, and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? 5 And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. 6 And he trembling and astonished said, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise, and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. Acts 9 17 King James Version, KJV 17 And Ananias went his way, and entered into the house, and putting his hands on him said, Brother Saul, the Lord, even Jesus, that appeared unto thee in the way as thou camest, hath sent me, that thou mightest receive thy sight, and be filled with the Holy Ghost. Acts 9 18 King James Version, KJV 18 And immediately there fell from his eyes as it had been scales, and he received sight forthwith, and arose, and was baptized. Acts 13 6 minus 11 King James Version, KJV 6 And when they had gone through the isle unto Papos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew, whose name was Bar-Jesus. 7 Which was with the deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man, who called for Barnabas and Saul, and desired to hear the word of God. 8 But Elimaz the sorcerer, for so was his name by interpretation, withstood them, seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. 9 Then Saul, who also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him. 10 And said, O full of all subtlety and all mischief, thou child of the devil, thou enemy of all righteousness, wilt thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? 11 And now, behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. And immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness, and he went about seeking some to lead him by the hand. Acts 14 8 minus 10 King James Version, KJV 8 And there sat a certain man at Lystra, impotent in his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who never had walked. 9 The same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him, and perceiving that he had faith to be healed, 10 said with a loud voice, Stand upright on thy feet. And he leaped and walked. Acts 16 16 minus 18 King James Version, KJV 16 And it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. 17 The same followed Paul and us, and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God, which shew unto us the way of salvation. 18 And this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the Spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. Acts 19 11 minus 12 King James Version, KJV 11 And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. 12 So that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. Acts 20 9 minus 12 King James Version, KJV 9 And there sat in a window a certain young man named Eutychus, being fallen into a deep sleep, and as Paul was long preaching, he sunk down with sleep, and fell down from the third loft, 
and was taken up dead. 10 And Paul went down, and fell on him, and embracing him said, Trouble not yourselves, for his life is in him. 11 When he therefore was come up again, and had broken bread, and eaten, and talked a long while, even till break of day, so he departed. 12 And they brought a young man alive, and were not a little comforted. Acts 28 8 King James Version, KJV 8 And it came to pass, that the father of Publius lay sick of a fever and of a bloody flux, to whom Paul entered in, and prayed, and laid his hands on him, and healed him. Acts 28 3-6 King James Version, KJV 3 And when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks, and laid them on the fire, there came a viper out of the heat, and fastened on his hand. For and when the barbarians saw the venomous beast hang on his hand, they said among themselves, No doubt this man is a murderer, whom, though he hath escaped the sea, yet vengeance suffereth not to live. 5 And he shook off the beast into the fire, and felt no harm. 6 How may I they looked when he should have swollen, or fallen down dead suddenly? But after they had looked a great while, and saw no harm come to him, they changed their minds. Paul preached to Rome was arrested sent on a prison ship that went through a storm survived landed on an island, and came back to Rome preaching. All apostles preached the good news and were persecuted for it, and prayed and God worked miracles for them as Jesus said and people today continue this, through prayer, faith in Jesus.